Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Divinity Original Sin 2. If we look a little different, you might notice the skeleton bro on the side there. That is because this is the official release. I was unable to get the entire thing uploaded before the release happened, just got recording too late. So, Ice and I have finished Act 1 through Fort Joy. We reached a ship by the end of it, and we'll... For those who haven't seen it or played it, I won't mention what happened because we want this to be a growing adventure with us all. Anyway, so we have Fane, the Red Prince, Sakara, and Gregory. Fane is Ice. Would you like to talk about what uh, you're doing on Fane? Oh yeah, I'm. I've, I've just made a dual wielder dagger stabby Fane because I thought it was rounding the party pretty well. He's a thief, of course, but uh, I think the biggest thing is is that he can. Uh, he can just decide that he's, uh, dead. <laughs> he's just, I'm just gonna lie down now. Which is pretty, pretty cool, I guess. But I think the most fun I've had about Fane is the fact that I could rip the face off of Niles the Flimser, which I now have sitting in my backpack forever and always. It's, it's just labeled ripped off human's face, but I know it's Niles' face, and that's all that really matters. Nice. Party comp wise, we have uh, the dual wield dagger rogue on Fane. The red prince is two handed warfare and necromancy. Grigory is going summoning and warfare, I believe, is what you were doing. Yep, I'm the front line. And Sakara is full blown glass cannon mage. As you can isn't, see from my hot bar, I've got a lot. Isn't he beautiful? You mean with his 91 armor and 74 health? And 91 magic resistance? Yeah, sure, that's definitely nice. We're gonna cut a little bit fur further along in that direction, and we will see you over there. It really is pretty, though. I mean, look at this effect on it. Yeah, I know, right? Like, move your camera around it. Yeah, I know. I've done it. Anyway, it's glittery, okay? Well, it actually looks like we have an encounter. I forgot these guys were over here. Oh, yeah, double the, <clears throat> double the bones. Oh, wait a minute, dude. We went the wrong way. We're already, like, right next to the chest. So we can go from the chest down to the beach we went and then the right back. Way. We went the way that we said we were going to go. Oh, I thought we were going a different direction. I'm so dumb. We're going by the way. I, I, thought, we were, I thought we were going around oh my the gosh. long way. This is the long way. <clears throat> no, no. I thought we were going, like, to the north, back by the beach where Wendigo was then south past the merchant and first Fort Joy. I'm so glad that we can get this rambling into the thing, too. <laughs> As we're disagreeing about what direction we were going. Ah. <laughs> no, no, we're going this way. No, we're going this way. Well, we sound like an old married couple. Shut. Just stop. Stop doing this to me. I don't know, Martha. I thought we were going that way. Pretty much. Damage is just too bad. Like it's, yeah. I would say it's bad, but it's just too good. Oh my gosh, is it really going to be this soon? Yep, it's about to happen. Oh, that poor skeleton. I can't believe I'm showing this already. <laughs> Where's this Where assassin? Oh, there he is. Oh no! He hit the guy with the most armor. Oh gosh. I never mind. That's not going to save it. <clears throat> you want to help me kill the assassin? Well, no. Yeah, I just, had, I just had to get that off the prince. Oh, yeah. Let's see, he does not have a lot of magical protection. He doesn't have a lot of any protection. He also doesn't have a turn. Should I have the prince go after the caster or just kill the assassin? Because I'm pretty sure right you the can caster. kill <clears throat> God dang it. 
I ended up slowing myself again because of trying to get through the stupid oil. Just use your uh, Mosquito Swarm. It has 18 armor. Mosquito Swarm has a shorter range than Hail Strike and Dazing Bolt. So, okay. since I can't stun it, I'll just drop a Hail Strike on it. And it took off a decent amount. <clears throat> Hi. Punch it. I threw poop at it. Why is the chicken not running? Oh, because you're invisible. I, I have Maybe? to. I have to. I have to convince it. <laughs> I like this skeleton over here. He's just like, oh god, I can't move. Oh god, my bones. Oh, are so put cold. some fire underneath it. Oh, is it because it's not threatened really right now? Might be. Put some like poison or fire underneath it. <clears throat> Give okay. it a reason to move. Mm. Bonk. Come to him. Nah. Your incarnate's got it. Yeah, you're right. Don't know Chicken. why I poisoned... I don't know why I... Poisoned the skeleton that's just gonna heal it. Chicken fire. Ch put fire under the chicken. I don't care if yeah. you hit me, just put fire under the chicken. There you go, there's fire under the chicken. That's a lot of fire. There we there go. We go. <laughs> the water will not save you. It was kind of funny that it did run for the water, though. It was like, oh god, please, water, water, help me. I knew that was about to happen. That's why I just left it there. Child of Desert Silence. Find what voice is Oh! Blessed water. Just for free. Um, don't run Fane through it. Wait a minute, is it healing him while damaging him? Like, nine armor damage. No, there was no healing. Ow, 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 ow. Okay. Oh, no one way to tell. Ow, ow, pain, pain. Nope, it just straight up damages you. Pain does not deserve that kind of pain. All right, this is. I think I'm gonna put the Terramancer belt on the prince. Ten earth, ten poison resistance. Yeah. That gives the prince general all-round uh, resistances. And I'll have him hold on to that uh, peace of mind scroll. Because I've been saving on to buff scrolls on him. Because if he gets blinded or someone else gets blinded or we need to yeah, cleanse things. Also, there's a tree trunk over here. <clears throat> there is? Yeah, you don't know how you missed it. Do you want to go up to the chest now? Uh, well, we're still running this way. It, we have to get these barrels. I know. That leads over there. <clears throat> huh. A potion. Oh, a harpoon. Do you, do you want me picking up all these shells and stuff still? It's one gold each. Nah, we're good. Okay. Oh. 
Well, that Stardust Herb is going straight in the crafting bag. Also over here. Where I'm at. Over here where I'm at. Over here. I'm coming, where I'm where coming, I'm, I'm coming. Where I'm at, over here. Also, I found some things we missed before out over there. A metal crate and a crate. Maybe even a chest of some sort down there. Well, let's dig this up first. Could be an enemy, so I'm just... It was a skeleton. That skeleton had a physical armor potion and a malachite. I have to see how much this is. Remember how much the magical one was when I combined them? Yep. Woo. 116 physical armor. It's 105. Just like the other potion. It just says, 100, it, it says 116 because you get extra. Yeah, from Geomancy and... Exactly. The other one. Over here where I'm at, there's a couple boxes to search. I'm making sure there's... I, de I decided that for these things... Is that a storage bag? No, it's an empty... Perfect! I have another empty backpack. I have a potions backpack. Sweet. I'm gonna... Yeah, there's two crates down here that you need to search. I'll be right there. I'm just... I'm setting up a hot bar of clickables, essentially. Ah, uh, so, gotcha. So, like, the with the intelligence potion, the magical armor potion... I gotcha. The armor potion... Just stuff that I would be nice to have. I'm putting it on a separate hot bar. I understand. Okay. And I think these agaric mushrooms make poison bottles or potions. Let me check real quick. <clears throat> they do indeed make poison bottles. All right. Yeah. I guess to send that to the prince. I mean... The, uh... To Fane. To Fane, yeah. To the Fane. To the Fane! Yeah, if there's over here, there's nothing to, uh... Well, I'll still check the two crates. You're yeah. sure there's nothing lying around? Because, I mean, I don't think we came over here when we did our first place. Like, we completely missed the witch encounter the first time around. There's nothing else over there. I, I literally walked around and looked around. Okay. Well, I have less wit than you do. Because I'm stupid. <laughs> I see your point. It makes so much sense. All right. These plants look truly sinister. They're arranged in a ring. Is that a natural occurrence? Here, let me uh, fix that stun. get off that real quick. I don't need to be shocking the both of them. <clears throat> I'm simply using Sakara's feet to lower the resistance. Actually, ooh, ooh. That breaks the connection of the water. If it isn't obvious what Ice and I are doing with this, it is because these things, when disturbed, shock, explode, create oil, and all sorts of lovely things. Oh no. Um. That figures. Got caught on the edge. Yeah, when I was trying to move them. <clears throat> oh my yeah, fucking... Are you fucking kidding me? Can you heal him real quick? And... Yeah, that. Fucking really? Oh, it's because of the steam clouds. 
Here, let me try it with the prince. He's got telekinesis. Yeah, he can move him from over here. That's okay. It's not like Fane had nine resurrection scrolls on it. Wait, yeah, he did. What? I didn't notice you were making a tower. And it just tickled me. Why is this so fun? To you know, do? If, you th if you know if you threw it over there on that ledge, no one would be able to climb up it, right? <clears throat> yeah, actually. So, are you want me ready for me to open the chest? Yeah. <laughs> Did you hear the vocals? About to search these corpses if you don't search them. I, I'm checking if this mushroom thing, this Calacera, can be made into anything. It makes intelligence potions. Oh, a haste skill book. I don't know when you got that, but you have a haste. I skill just book. I just picked it up. You already have haste, though. I do. That's why it's going in Unis's pouch. Or you, you can hold that. Now the question is... Don't want to hold that. Alright. <laughs> Alrighty, so... Well, it's clear that the shield was... A, I'm going to need a more... The shield was a good chunk of my physical armor. But... I just got another wand... That had higher damage and has dual wielding on it. Yep. So. So. That's pretty nice. That is nice. If you want to go full out attack mage. I'm still going to hold on to the shield. Because if I ever need to swap on a shield to then use shield up. It will be good to have. Uh can I have some blood before this fight? You may definitely have some blood. Uh, boom. It's bleeding everywhere! <clears throat> Alrighty. Do 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 do. I snuck haste off right before we started. God, 99 magical and physical armor. I like how the leech, like, millipede leech crawler thing just called us leeches. Maybe source is the abyss, or the void, or whatever the heck this thing is. Pew! No, it's not. <gasps> this world is ours. Hurts, doesn't it? <laughs> These lines. I love them. No, he's good. He can just walk on the He can just bleed side. out. He can just walk on the side. Chill. Um. Oh, okay. So the Void Woken are going after people with Source because if they kill people with Source, they eat their Source. Yeah, I guess. Oh, pish. I'll just do this. You just took all my fucking fun away from my Incarnate. Why you do that? Sorry? And now you spawn more people. Yeah, more shit to kill. Yes, but now they get a turn this round. Oh, so they do. Smooth move, X-Lax. Oh, 
shut it. <clears throat> old terms, old saints. That's okay. Apparently these four over here are going to gather together anyway, so it's not like it really matters. I was about to say, you don't have to attack them this round. You could save your points, but... Oh, Last wait. Cannon. Save your points. <laughs> uh... Yeah, I would say save points. What points? That is not the one that'll be living next round. I mean, moving this round. Look at the turn order. I, th I think I'll hold on to it, actually. You will not be spared. Your <gasps> Squash the vermin. Hang the thieves. Ours. Ours. You are ours. We are the many and the all. We were first. We were first. It's very ominous bugs. Beautiful. Beautiful. It exploded. Flawless. Dude, we're almost level seven. We're almost level seven, dude. Yep. I think if you kill one more, that we. Yep, there they are. We get more. <clears throat> I figured it wasn't going to move once I ruptured tendons, but... And this is why I'm giving the prince... Jesus, that was like 50 health! This is why I've been giving the prince some spells. Because if he can't get over there... Yep. He can certainly do the other bit. Um, it's okay if I hit Fane, I can hit all three of them if I do. Actually, you know what? I can I can protect Fane. Hit all three of what? The only thing there is two Voidlings and Fane. A corpse. Yeah. Can I hit the two without hitting Fane, then? I thought the other one was alive for a half second. Yes, I can. But spreading fire. Because reasons. Try to kill the one that's not gone yet. The one that's bleeding. The other one's already had a turn, so... Okay. It's not going to be attacking Fame this turn. We are the beginning of <clears throat> Did I get it? We will return. Oh, come on, no speech? I was looking forward to what he had to say. <laughs> this, guy, this guy's just like, fuck this, I'm out. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, they're going after the totem. They're going after the totem. <laughs> the prince gets to AoE next turn. Yep. Munch. Uh, we're gonna level, I think, off this. Yeah, yeah there's, there's, five of them, there's five of them left, and we need 3,000 to hit level seven. seven. We're gonna level! Woohoo! I like that all the corpses are in a concentrated area right now, though. I don't want them moving next turn. I like how they go like, whoop, 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 when they flip over. Pretty sure I just clipped my microphone, too. 
Yep, but it's okay, because you're about to kill the most of those, damn near. Let's see here. Burning. There we go. Can't really do much else. Oh, now you're turning around. Yeah, he... Oh, do it, do it. Smart bug. Right? Yep, there's the level. I knew it was on its way. Forgot about that. I will... One of these days I'll remember that blood does get electrocuted. Not bad damage on those ones, though. I'm going to hold my level up until we hit the town so we can see what we have available. I was just looking over stats on the uh, people that I've got. <clears throat> Alright, now let me just use my special feat to... Wow, oh, be a little bit more direct, I guess. The corpses of Voidlings lie in heaps around you. A miasma of cursed fluid pooling at your feet. There were so many. Nothing we couldn't handle, though. Those filthy beasts were like rats. A swarm most vile, but vanquished as a matter of course. There were many of the critters, but I didn't even break a sweat. <laughs> <laughs> I like how he, he, he just paused. Wait a minute. Um, oops. Yeah, uh, Fane. You don't have sweat glands. You're dead. Sort of. Yeah, I'm gonna wait until we get to town before I figure out what I'm gonna do. Yeah. That was a good battle, though. Oops, I just picked up an oil barrel. That's a great way to not be able to move. Although, we are going on the 33 minute mark at this point, and we are just outside of refuge. So let's get ourselves up there and we can call it an episode. I'm trying to see where the darn bulb is in that mess to throw it further away. Oh, there it is. You just toss that right there. Extinguish the excess surfaces. As I was say, now, now grab the green noxious bulb and throw it as far towards the water as you can. Actually, you know what? No, don't do that. I'm going to try something real quick. Pain, pain, pain for me. Oh, wait, wait, don't worry about it. Pain can do all that without any problems. It, it's heat. The problem is if it's blessed poison. Blessed poison will destroy Fane. Let me, let me use Fane for this real quick. Give me a second. Ding dong, the witch is dead. No sooner have you rung the ornate bell <laughs> in the face of a lizard woman. No sooner than you have rung the ornate bell seven times. Her stare is as sharp as the bolt I need to her crossbow. Stand back, kinswoman, and keep your hands off your weapon. Convince me you're no magister, or draw one last deep breath. Not like we saved Gareth, right? Yeah, right? It's like, not like we already saved your leader. Look about you, sister. Do you feel an all-powerful sun? Or see the desert on all horizons? We have halved and housed and lost. So don't you stand there and play coy with me. 
Not when the worms are licking their lips beneath your very feet. Her eyes go wide with wonder upon your mentioning of the divinity. But it is all right. No magister could sense the spirit of the goddess. Only a true sorcerer could, blessed with senses greater than our world's alone. I apologize for the steel pit. Welcome, but lives are at stake. Hold on, I'll let you up. With one graceful motion, the lizard throws down a tangled mess of vines for you to climb. Come, ascend to the sanctuary of Amadia. You'll find you're not the only guest here, but the Great Mother provides for all. All right, so we have found what we call refuge, even though it's the shrine or sanctuary of Amadia. Shaman, Spira Spera. Arrive at the sanctuary. Okay. And Bahara is the person that the prince needs to speak to, as Stingtail told us in a previous episode. Uh -huh. Red Prince and the Dreamer exchange courteous pleasantries, as if they're finding themselves in a palace hall instead of a death-ridden. To your surprise, they next lie down on the ground in a seemingly warm embrace and fall asleep. What follows, though, is far from peaceful. They claw and thrash as if struggling for dear life, caught in the hold of some hideous nightmare. Then they wake, haggard, exhausted. They speak of a vision, Brahmins, and another red lizard. Praise the daylight. I am now. There was death in that dream, chasing me like a hundred hungry lions. But at least I've a new direction. When we escape and find ourselves on the mainland once more, I must search for Brahmos the Wanderer. Then I will finally know the truth. The very secret of my soul. All right. That was interesting. Apparently... Oh, were you listening to that, or...? Oh, no, I, I wasn't. I said, uh, uh, yep, because I'm looking at this stuff over here. <laughs> Go ahead, All right, continue. well, anyway, we've reached this. Ice and I are going to look around the merchants and for skills and other things, but we're going to do that between episodes because menu diving isn't all that interesting. We'll go over what we did before we start the next episode. Until then, however, I've been the Void Talent here in the Abyss with Ice and Fury with Divinity Original Sin 2, the full release. And remember, if you like this video, be sure to leave it a like. And as always, we will see you in the abyss next time. Stay sharp, my friends.